Show and tell, Tony is visiting with a retired teacher who managed to get some of your favorite authors of children's books all in the same place at the same time. Impressive. Writers like Beverly Cleary, Judy Bloom, Ian Falconer, they all came together for this special, special project, but it's probably not exactly what you're thinking. My guest today is John Wagner. John is showing us this quilt, which has just been completed, but it's been 20 years in the making. So where do we start? Well, um, I was teaching at a little country school uh, called Rickery Hill School, little girl school back in 2002. I came up with this quilt idea that had been kind of buzzing around in my head for several years and said, we need to do this. And the bits of fabric are all from known authors. So you sent out solicitations. We did. We, uh, I sent out 120 letters to various authors and illustrators of kids' books, and we got 45 back. Uh, we asked them to give us uh, some a piece of fabric with their name signed on it, and then maybe a story behind the fabric. And why it was something they sent us. And you just kind of got going with it, and then the school year sort of comes to an end, and then the school closes. So, so you bag it all up, yep. store it, what? and now fast forward 20 years, <laughs> and where are we today? So yeah, so this went to a uh, one of the school parents. She stowed it away for 20 years, yeah. and, uh, and, and my wife and I are leaving to another state, moving, and said, well, you don't get this thing done, it's never going to get done. Now or never. So yeah. we called her up. She still had it. She brought it over, and uh, we found a, a friend of ours, uh, a retired school teacher from Salem who's a quilter, and she said, I'd be glad to put it together for you, and she did a marvelous job. Her name, uh, Jean, Jean Lorenz? Yeah, yeah, Jean yeah. Lorenz, yeah, and so fabulous. She was, did an amazing job with it. So when you look at this quilt now, each bit of fabric, or the, the main ones, are from different authors. Yeah. Tell me something about who these authors are and some of the books you might recognize. Okay, well, Eric Carle, right. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. You've got uh, Judy Bloom, who does fudge books. Uh, Beverly Clary, our own Oregon author, yeah. the Winona one, she uh, had contributed to this as well. And with each bit of fabric, they signed them, and then they told you a little bit yeah. about the piece of fabric they chose. So, for example, like uh, Richard Peck, who won the Newbery Award for his book A Year Down Yonder, he sent us the tie that he wore to the Newbery Award ceremony. Ian Falconer, who's the Olivia a creator, yeah, well, he was just getting started with that when we uh, we did this, and he sent a part of a sleeping bag that they made for our, uh, Olivia. Sleeping. My kids grew up on, on these books. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're fabulous. It is a relief to have it done. The binder we made with all the letters and things, I would occasionally come upon that in our house and go, oh, <laughs> I really need to get this done. So in that way, it's a relief to have yes. it finished. Your interest in teaching and in literature specifically goes back to what point in your life? And I had a, a professor of literature named Kathy Dunbar. She just lit a fire under me. And then Peggy Sharp, who's known really well in the Portland area with the PSU and other things designed for learning, she also brought authors to town and stuff like this, and I went and saw tons of them. Well, now this quilt will be displayed here at the Dallas, Oregon Public Library, yeah. along with all the letters yes. from the authors. What a tribute, and, and must just feel so nice to know it's found a uh, home and it can be shared with the community. Yeah, hopefully it'll be here a long, long time and people will be able to really enjoy it. Yeah, and well, now you have a perfect excuse to come back and visit Oregon from That's time to time. That too. is true, yeah, absolutely. Good to meet you. Thank you And so congratulations much. Thank you. Thank you. On, on getting this done and thank you very much. Tony, I could wow. picture other libraries wanting to sort of borrow it on loan, yeah. like a museum yeah. piece, because it's a, this is pretty neat. It's a great idea. It goes up on uh, Saturday, 1 o'clock, at the Dallas Public uh, Library. They're going to actually, you know, mount it on the wall back there. But okay. it really is worth the trip. It's about an hour drive from Portland. If you're ever down there, go check it out, because, I mean, when you see it up close, it really is quite yeah. different. You can read all the letters and all the responses they got back. It's, so it's a, like really a little special. time machine. I mean, it works on a lot of levels. Yeah. So, yeah. And, just, and, and authors that were meaningful to us, for oh, whether yeah. we were yeah. kids like Judy Bloom nice. or your kids, Books that and if you liked their books, then you you see that they they liked this project, yeah. which gives a whole other dimension to like what kind of person they really and are. And they put yeah. thought into whatever it was yeah. they signed. Yeah. And yeah. The, yeah, they, they, the tie or you I know. Love yeah. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. What a great story. Very Thanks, cool. Thanks, uh, yeah.